Oh, well, YouTubers. Well, this has been fun and stuff, but I think I reached my conclusion on realizing my important question, which was why? Why people uh, so called supposedly don't uh, fear God or all those things that are supposedly written by higher entities? But one thing is certain, the most realistic scriptures I've been seeing out there are the Nag Amadagi, if I'm not spelling it incorrectly, which those books explain in a lot of detail what's going on and uh, it clearly explains the stationary earth and the uh, heavens the circle circocentric spheres the heavens and how we have spirit and some entities out there don't have any spirit and they are the corruptors that still are going out there no wonder cer certain families are continuing to maintain their genetics along these years because they are the senses of those people and they are continue to control us because they envy human beings human beings have one thing they don't have which is conscience spirit the ability to do what's right and that's what they keep corrupting and that's what we keep seeing on people people without a conscience doing uh, whatever they p please so no wonder we see all this violence and pedophilia and rapes and of course these people gave their spirit to those people because they feed on that you ever wonder why there are people out there that seems to drain your energy? Now you know why. They are part of the, the system to drain good energy. They live on bad energy, on bad emotions, on bad thoughts. And many people out there, many humans, unfortunately, just left the materialistic world and uh, they give uh, their conscience away. So. And now I understand why they gave it so freely. Because they know that they are, they are coming back again. This is a cycle. And your objective is to pop up, pot, pop out of this system, of this materialistic system. Because we are more part of the metaphysical. And our conscience is the metaphysical part. Since everything around our selves is a lot of is full of metaphysical but it's not uh, reachable for our senses because that's our body our soul their creation but it seems the higher entity the creator of everything them and us gave us one thing they don't they don't have which is the conscience and the spirit so that's the thing that you should nurture and expand. That's your divine light, your divine guiding, your teachings, your knowledge. It's all inside. And it's very hard to reach that in this material world and with all these uh, things that happen out there. So now I know the why they keep doing this and i already talked about the reason the the only way to kill them which is by killing their source of power which is money which was one thing that we and give them and money like hitler did 
we back to them up on labor because labor comes from your work and your work your effort depends on your blood and your blood is way more valuable than gold or anything out there in the the planet and he understood that so we standardize the money on labor and that's the only way we can defeat these guys because these guys don't want to work don't want to help the community they want to help themselves and their families and all that stuff so it's up to us to change that and it seems this channel is very strange for say the least but one thing is strange I finally had what I think a good conversation but according to my analytics I only had one comment on those videos interesting no so I think I reached my research point which where I can gasp all the rest could be acquired with the help of others but it seems I have a channel full of chills and uh, trolls and whatever they are they are getting paid for sure or or else are stupid because I already provide a lot of information on this channel which seems to be sandboxed I almost sure so this is my last information that I leave out there for anyone that is really looking for the truth and that's the important thing to know it's which ones are the ones that are pulling the strings and where to strike that's the, the important thing oh and by the way <laughs> Syria is very interesting since they found a, a factory of chemical weapons out there and I if I was the president of that country and realized that I have a uh, humongous evidence against the the militants the so-called uh, uh, f freedom fighters I would uh, immediately start talking about that on the media and all that stuff but it seems that uh, Mr. Assad uh, prefers to let's see if it's still here Mr. Assad prefers to where are you? can I see you? where are you? many videos already well here it is Mr. Rassad prefers uh, doing his drive to see his situation of the fighting. Let's ignore the strong evidence that is out there against this fake war. So, for sure, Syria is down already. Next one will be Iran. So, brace yourselves for the near future. Iran is going to be somehow engaged in war because I don't see Syria as a, a, a sovereign state anymore since the only thing that he was capable of doing was driving his car either these are old pictures or he was already sold out by pressure or something else it's very hard to be a leader in this very corrupt world so no wonder many people go down and others 
be quiet and all that stuff but like I keep saying if everybody starts speaking <laughs> we are uh, how many people in the world billions so imagine billions doing what uh, a thousand maybe one hundred No, I think 1,000 of people, maybe more, are actually running the world. But no, people are very more interested in stupid things. And YouTube is promoting that a lot, so... Like I said, I think my quest is done. I realized which is the correct model, I realized who are the ones that are ruling the world I realize the solution I realize the why and all the rest will eventually will start to fit in like the fake history and all that stuff so hope you enjoyed the, my videos and my opinion will only change if I really start to see people appearing which I believe will not happen on this very controlled Zion platform but you always keep hope which is the, one, the last one to die so hope you enjoy my videos and see you in the near future peace